Hey, and welcome. If you're going through something hard right now, some kind of suffering, or if you just feel distant from God, or maybe even abandoned by Him, I want to read you a passage of scripture today that I hope will encourage you and then share with you a little bit. The passage of scripture is 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9, and it says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope, not a dead one. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now, for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief and all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, which is of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. One thing I think is really cool is that the, Bi the Bible often uses the refining process of silver or gold, just like it does in this passage. And it uses it as an illustration of God's work in our lives and of suffering. And when gold was being refined, the refiner would put it in a melting pot, raise it to really high temperature, and then all these impurities would come to the top. And the refiner would remove that layer of impurities. And he, then he would keep doing that process again and again until he could see his reflection in the gold. And the same is true with us. God, he can use our suffering and all of the intense heat and pain of life to refine us so that we reflect him and so that we are more like Christ. And that's what God is talking about in this passage. And that is what he has done in my life. Um, when I was a sophomore in high school, I went through a very rough two-year period where I felt very depressed and I felt abandoned by God. All positive emotions left me. I used to feel like very close to God and feel his presence with me a lot. But during that two year period of my life, I didn't feel anything from God. Didn't feel anything at any church service. He just seemed so distant when I prayed. It didn't seem like I was getting through to him. Things just felt very distant and I felt abandoned and alone. I had lots of questions and lots of inner turmoil, and it was rough. But God brought me out of that period, and when he did, he refined my faith. And I remember one of my teachers telling me that in this time, God is stretching your faith because he has great plans for you, plans that will require great faith. And sure enough, when I came out of that period, my faith has been so much stronger. I do not have to depend on my emotions anymore. In fact, I just, I'm able to anchor myself in God's word rather than in my emotions. And my faith and my confidence in God is just a lot more stronger. And I would not be who I am today if I had not gone through that period. It really strengthened my faith and my relationship with God and deepened my desire for him too. And... That is just like the process with gold because God, he is, he's the great silver, silversmith. And a silversmith doesn't put something in the fire and then walk away. The silversmith sits there by the fire and he watches the item he is perfecting. He doesn't want it to burn up. And so he watches it and he pulls it out when the time is right. And the same is true for you and I. God does not leave when we are going through intense suffering and fire. He sits right there 
and he watches over us. And does that mean that suffering doesn't hurt? No, it still hurts. But in our suffering, it's a lot different from the rest of the world because our suffering can make us more like Christ and there can be a redemptive purpose in it and God can use it, unlike with the rest of the world. And unlike the rest of the world, we actually have an end hope. We know that heaven is coming. We know that Jesus is always with us and we know that God loves us. So I hope that encourages you. Um, just if you're going through something tough right now, know that God is not abandoned you. He's sitting right there. He has his eye on you and he does hear your prayer. And let me pray for you real quick. Father, I thank you for this person. And Lord, I thank you for how you've brought me through tough times. And I don't know what this person is going through that is causing such intense suffering and worry and difficulty. But I pray you'd be present with them and you would use it to make them more like you, but that you would let them know and help them to cling to the promises of your word that you are with them. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining. If you are not subscribed to KNBC's channel, go ahead and do that and you'll get notified when videos like this come out or other videos too. And if you have any questions or comments or want to share about an experience that God has used in your life to deepen you, I would really appreciate and love to hear about that. And you can leave that in the comments. And then until then, I will see you next week.